Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Now, this week I went to Edinburgh. Went to, um, for the day really. And, um, as I was going up the Royal Mile of Edinburgh, I noticed a whiskey shop. Um, like you do. It's in Edinburgh. They drink whiskey. <laughs> anyway, they had beers in there as well. And, um, I was, obviously because I was near the castle, um, the prices of, of the beer in there was quite quite steep, but I, I managed to pick up a few, um, which caught my eye, and this one caught my eye, um, mainly because it's whiskey infused, and it's got marmalade, also, so we're going to the Old Worthy Brewing Company, which I think are based in, not telling me, it's based in Scotland anyway, and we have Leather's Cure for Scurvy. Uh, any Scotsman out there who um, <laughs> who, are, who are laughing their heads off because of my southern accent, um, you know, I apologise. <laughs> so we've got Leather's, Leather's Cure for Scurvy, whiskey infused marmalade pale ale. Um, and it's Well Beer Awards winner. There you go, boys and girls. 5.5% ABV. There's the backside. There's the pregnant woman. 330ml bottle. So it's, you know, caught me eye, definitely. Um, the guy at, at the counter in the beer shop, he, he, he said, you know, he praised them. So another tick in the box for, for me getting it. So Old Worthy Brewing Company, the half and half towel. Old men in Scottish pubs have been drinking their ales from a dram since forever. It's called Half and Half. It's what you do in Scotland. Apparently. <laughs> At Old Worthy Brewing Company, we love a Half and Half. That special marriage of whiskey and beer. Let's just say delicious. It's why we brew our beers. Every single one of them. We source our malt from Scotland's famous whiskey distilleries and brew up some mischief. Ales that do justice to the drams we love. Um, is it giving me any hint of what hops are used? No. Which is a shame. But it caught me eye. So, actually when I was in Edinburgh, there's loads of Americans. I've never known, you know, there must be something about Edinburgh what Americans like. Must be the castle. Highly recommend it, boys and girls. If you've never been to Edinburgh, go to the castle. Bloody good day out that. So, let's crack her open. White crown. See what we get. You do get... Kind of like marmalade. You do get a marmalade. You know, that kind of like... I'm trying to think if it's, you know, golden shred or silver shred. A slight hint of sweet whiskiness, not much. But it's not giving away much. So let's whack her in. Like we do. I don't know if she's bottle conditioned or not. She's come out like a dark golden brown. So I've just chucked it all in. Not an off-white head, a little bit compact. I uh, can't see whether or not if there's any sediment, not too sure. Again, you're getting a little hint of that sweetness you associate with Scotch whisky. Only subtle. And like a rind of a fruit, you know, for citrus fruit you find in a marmalade jar, you know. But it's it's very. The aromas so far are quite very subtle. They're not, you know, full on aromas. But I'm going to go in. So cheers. First mouthful, definitely get 
that marmalade type of bitterness. Um, not getting any whiskey at the moment. I think <clears throat> because you're getting all this bitterness associated with that marmalade, it's like um like a real orange rind, maybe even lemon lemon rind type of bitterness, it does overpower any source of whiskey taste notes in this. It does overpower it. It, it's, it's, um, I'll just see what it's got. It, it's saying, it's not actually saying whiskey on here. It says there, whiskey infused marmalade pale ale. But, you know, dare I say, I've just looked at the taste notes. And it's saying what I'm picking up. It's, you're getting that marmalade but it's not saying any whiskey uh, notes in the actual um, taste it, it, it says blending to go with whiskey which is a little bit naughty because you know it's saying whiskey infused beer there but then it's saying on the back uh, pair with blended scotch so a little bit naughty there, but, you know, because I picked that up thinking that's whiskey infused beer. You know, like a, I don't know, innocent gun, say, or something like that. I'm going to go in again. Right, now we've established that. Um, the beer on its own is a very nice beer. Um... You're getting a lovely marmalade bitterness. Um, the critical criticism I have of it is there's nothing really to balance with that marmalade bitterness. This is is a bit of a bit of a one-way street, really. It's it's so I like beers will balance. You know, you got the bitterness, but you got something to balance with it in the taste as well. And this hasn't really got it. Saying that, I don't mind bitter beers. Um, some people out there can't stand them. So on that score, if you like your beers bitter, check this one out. It's not bad. So boys and girls, Old Worthy Brewing Company, Cure for Scurvy. I recommend that. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Um, it just says there to pair with blended scots. I didn't see that. I was just looking at that. Maybe they need to change the label. <laughs> Maybe I was just in a hurry. I don't know. <laughs> so all worthy brewing company. Cure for scurvy. Yeah. It's it's a nice texture. It's quite smooth as well. It's a nice beer, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you boys and girls on me next one.